Blessings, blessings to everybody. Glory to God. Um, I wasn't sure what the Lord wanted me to say. He just told me to prepare to get on uh, tonight. And um, I just began to sit down and listen for his voice. And here I am. And uh, didn't really know what he wanted me to talk about. But God said, just be ready. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He said, tell my people to be ready. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Jesus. He said, be ready. Be prepared. Because the coming of the Lord will be like a thief in the night. God said, be ready. My sisters and my brothers, be ready. Hallelujah. He said, just be ready. He said, talk about being prepared. So that's what I'm going to talk about. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, glory to God. Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. We praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, the Messiah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yeshua, we praise your name. Above every other name, we praise you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Spirits be lifted in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Strength. Oh, God, the strength of God be upon you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Whatever is on your mind, lay it in the Father's hands. In the name of Jesus, oh God, mood be lifted in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Faith arise in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Be encouraged. Hallelujah, be encouraged. Hallelujah, be encouraged. Glory to God. Hallelujah, be encouraged. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. God says he's blowing on your situation. The very breath of God is blowing on your situation. Oh, hallelujah. God has given you supernatural strength. Oh, glory to God, to stand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, to stand. Hallelujah. We praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God. We praise the Lord. Hallelujah for his goodness. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Don't want to rush the Holy Spirit. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God says he's rising. He's raising you up. Hallelujah. Raising you up. Uh, raising you ab above your enemies says the spirit of God raising you above your enemies glory to God some of you are surrounded hallelujah 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 God says some of you are surrounded by your enemies you're surrounded by issues and troubles people don't don't want to see you move forward don't want to see good things happen God says that God is raising you up Hallelujah, putting you up above your enemies. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just see Arabakasia in the spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm raising you up, says the Spirit of God. I'm raising you up. Glory to God. No longer will you be trampled. No longer will you be bullied. I am picking you up with my hand. I see the hand of God just lifting so many people up. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 God says you've just been beat up so much. Glory to God. The enemy. Hallelujah. Is just trying to take your peace. Try to discourage you. Glory to God. But God says be lifted up my people. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be ye lifted up. Hallelujah. Raise your head up. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But there is a Savior. 
There is someone named Jesus or whatever you call him, Yeshua HaMashiach. There is a Savior. Glory God. Hallelujah. He died on the cross. Glory God. Hallelujah. That you may have the victory. You have the victory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, glory to God. Rise up. Rise up, spirit. Hallelujah. Rise up, faith. Hallelujah. Rise up, belief. Hallelujah. We rebuke the spirit of unbelief right now. In the name of Jesus, we believe that God can do the impossible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He can do anything we ask. Hallelujah. As long as we have faith in him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There's nothing too hard for him. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. God said, rise. Hallelujah. Be Rise. Hallelujah. Rise above the problems. Rise the unbelief. God said, rise up, my woman and man of God. Raise up, hallelujah, out of your depression. Glory to God. I speak to you, woman. Rise up out of that depression in the name of Jesus. Oh, God did not call you to be sad. He said, I've given you joy. It is your right to have joy. Glory to God. Don't let the enemy steal your joy. Hallelujah. God gives us joy. The joy of the Lord is our strength. It's what keeps us motivated, keeps us going because we know, glory to God, that with God on our side, we cannot fail. Glory to God. We're always victorious because God is on our side. So God said, arise. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Rise. Hallelujah. Rise. Hallelujah. Rise. Rise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember who you are. Glory to God. You are a warrior. Thank you, Jesus. You are a warrior in the kingdom of God. You are a warrior. Glory to God. You are an intercessor. You are a prophet. Rabbi Kasa. God has called some of you as to be a prophet to the nations. Glory to God. Rise up and remember who you are. Hallelujah. You are a pastor. You are a shepherd. You are an evangelist. Rise up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are a warrior in the kingdom. Glory to God. And the enemy does not want you to know that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Father, we praise you. We thank you. We give you glory and we give you honor. We thank you, Lord, for always thinking about us. Hallelujah. You're never, nothing ever passes you. Nothing ever gets Get by you. You're always concerned about your people. And for this, Lord, we say thank you. Glory to God. You see our infirmities. You see what's going on in our in our minds. You see what's going on in our lives, God. And we thank you that you're not oblivious to what we're going through. Oh, but you are a concerning God. You are a jealous God. You are a loving God. You are a compassionate God. And you care about your people. Hallelujah. You care about the tears that run down our face. You care about everything, God, that concerns us, Lord. And we thank you for this. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. We lift our hands up right now and we praise you. Glory to God in the midst of our circumstance. We lift up holy hands and we worship you in spirit and in truth. Glory to God. The more we worship you, the better we feel. The more we worship you, the better we feel. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We lift up our We lift up holy hands to you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Strength is coming. I said, strength is coming. Glory to God. Freedom is coming. Deliverance is coming. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Answer prayer is coming. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Every need is being met in the spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Our angels are fighting for us even right now. Hallelujah. They're all around us even right now fighting for us, singing over us, praying for us, fighting the enemy. Hallelujah. Fighting every demonic attack. We thank you for this, Lord, as we worship you. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. As we worship you, we feel every bone in our body being straightened. We feel every sickness being broken. Hallelujah. We feel every infirmity being broken in the name of Jesus. We feel every disease being broken right now in the Nebuchadnezzar, in the spirit, as we worship you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God said, arise. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Arise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. My brother and my sister, you need to be worshiping. Hallelujah. You need to be worshiping your Savior. You need to be worshiping your Creator. Glory to God. I don't care what's going on in your life. You need to be with your hands in the air. Sataya, and worshiping your Savior. God says, hallelujah, your enemies are getting ready to be scattered. Hallelujah. As you worship Him. Glory to God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Every need is being met. Oh, in the Spirit. God said, worship. Thank you, Jesus. You don't have to have music to worship. Hallelujah. Something begins to change in the atmosphere when you just lift your hands up and begin to thank God. Hallelujah. For who he is and what he's already done. Glory to God. Things begin to shift. Hallelujah. You can feel the difference in the room. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Where my worship is at. Hallelujah. You ain't got to have no music. Glory to God to worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm, I'm trying to move on here. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise your name. God, you're a good God. Ah, Rabbi Kasa, you are a good, good father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. The Lord directed me to Matthew uh, chapter 25, uh, talking about the, the story of the 10 bridesmaids, very well known, very well, well known, um, story in the Bible. Hallelujah. That Jesus told. Now, most of us, we grew up in church or whatever, and we probably have already heard this story, but maybe there are some people who may come on and they never read the Bible a day in their life. Glory to God. You know, sometimes we forget there's people who never read the Bible. They don't even know how to find um, scriptures and things of that sort. So we have to keep that in mind. So, a uh, very powerful story. Glory to God. It's a foreshadowing. Jesus was trying to foreshadow something, prophesying something in the scriptures. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's very relevant for such a time as now. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The day that God is preparing his people those who have an ear to hear they will hear glory to god i'm gonna say that again those who have an ear let them hear and those who want to hear will hear glory to god but if you don't want to hear truth oh come on if you don't want to hear sound doctrine you're gonna miss it glory to god hallelujah we must be hungry and thirsty for righteousness in these last days god is preparing his people god is speaking to so many people all around the world those who have an ear to hear glory to god thank you jesus we thank the father for that so matthew 25 i'm going to read the whole story it's not long at all i'm going to read the new living translation because i like it the version glory to god hallelujah all right, so Matthew 25 is going to be 1 through 13. Hallelujah. All right, so Jesus says, The kingdom of heaven can be illustrated by the story of ten bridesmaids who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, and the other five were wise. The five who were foolish took no oil for their lamps. But the other five were wise enough to take along extra oil. When the bridegroom was delayed, they all lay down and slept. At midnight, they were roused by the shout 
Look, the bridegroom is coming. Come out and welcome him. All the bridesmaids got up and prepared their lamps. But then the five foolish ones asked the other, uh, asked the others, Could you please give us some of your oil? Because our lamps are going out. But the others replied, We don't have enough for all of us. You are going to have to go to a shop and buy some for yourselves. Amen. But while they were gone to buy oil, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast, and the door was locked. Later, when the other, when the other five bridesmaids returned, they stood outside calling, Sir, open the door for us. But he called back, I don't know you, my God. So stay awake and be prepared. Be what? Prepared. Glory to God. Because you do not know the day or the hour of my return. So as we read the story, as Jesus tells the story, we understand that there's two groups of women, two groups of bridegrooms. There's foolish, there's five foolish, and the other was uh, was uh, wise. So we got five wise, five foolish. We notice here that the foolish was not prepared. They didn't bring no extra oil. But the wise thought ahead, right? They were prepared. They had extra oil. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And then it says at midnight, they were awoken by shouting that the bridegroom had finally came. Glory to God. He finally came. So then we find out that those who were foolish, who didn't bring extra oil, call themselves asking the wise for extra oil. They said, nope, we don't have enough for you. We only brought enough for ourselves. Right? Hallelujah. Glory to God. So while they went out trying to go get stuff at the last minute, hallelujah, at the last minute, they missed it. Hallelujah. They had time to prepare, but they did not think ahead and they had to pay for it. Glory to God. They missed it. Glory to God. They were not able to go in with the bridegroom. Hallelujah. How many of you know there are going to be so many people who are going to miss it? But you don't have to be the one who misses it. I'm going to say that again. There are going to be so many people who are not going to be prepared for the coming of Jesus Christ. They're going to be so shocked. They're going to be so upset not knowing why didn't I go because you did not prepare. We don't want to be the ones knocking on the door to get in. We don't want to hear Jesus say, I don't know you. The word of God says the bridegroom told the five foolish virgins or, or bridesmaids or whatever that he didn't know them. Glory to God. Why? Because they weren't prepared. They weren't ready. My friends, Jesus is coming back for a church that is ready. He's coming back for a church that is not blinded by the world. He's coming back for a church that's thirsty and hungry for him, that's ready. And every day they're preparing for him like he's coming the next day. Oh, come on, somebody. God said, Jesus said, he said, I don't know you. We don't want him to tell us that. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So he said, so stay awake and be prepared because you don't know the day or the hour of my return. We don't know. And people say, well, oh, oh, there's people been saying that for years. Jesus isn't coming back. My grandmother said that too. My grandpa said, grandpa said that too. Jesus isn't coming back. There, you don't, no, there's no savior. This is it. This is all the life you live. That's a lie from the pits of hell. Jesus Christ is still coming back. And every day is a chance for us to get ourselves prepared. Every day is a chance to get to know him. Every day is a chance to just talk to him, spend time with him. Glory to God. Every day is a chance to get in your Bible. Every day is a chance to forgive. Every day is a chance to pray for your enemies. Every day is a chance to repent. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. And some of us, God has given us a, a extra time. He's given, he's given you grace and mercy. Glory to God to turn around, turn from your wicked ways. He's given you a chance to repent. You know, the Lord has been um, encouraging me to read Exodus about the, the story of the, of the children of Israel, their story from the time Moses went to uh, Egypt and, you know, spoke with Pharaoh and let my people go. And God said, let his people go. And I just been reading the whole story and, and it's just, it's so real. It becomes such, it's really touched my heart as many times as I've heard, you know, that story. It, it's just, for some reason, it's really been speaking to me, you know, God's character has not changed. And, and for some reason, we think that because of Jesus dying on the cross and because we have grace on our lives now that God, God's ways have changed, but God's standards for us have not changed. His requirements have not changed. His, his thoughts about sin have not changed. If it wasn't for Jesus, we would all be dead. I'm going to say that again. If it wasn't for the Jesus' uh, shedded blood, we would all be in the graves. But because of what he did, hallelujah, we now have grace and mercy on our lives. We we're given a chance day after day to choose God. What are we doing with the time that we have? We cannot be like the five foolish uh, bridesmaids. Or the, t uh, the five foolish virgins. We cannot be like that, you guys. We got to be prepared. God said we must be prepared. Tell my people to be ready. To be prepared for my coming. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He said, can't you see the signs? I told you these signs would come. We see the signs in the earth. We see the sin that is that is increased in the land. We see the wickedness that is, that is increased. Glory to God. We see gov governmental laws changing. Hallelujah. Not for our good, for the worst. Protecting sin is what those laws are doing. Making it seem like it's okay. My friends, Jesus is coming back soon, and we must be ready. We must be prepared. Those who hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm going to read a couple more scriptures, and I'm going to get on off of here because that's all. The Lord commanded me to say, hallelujah. Proverbs 28 and 19 through 20 says, whoever works his farmland will have abundant food, but whoever chases fantasies will become very poor. The faithful man will prosper with blessings, but whoever is in a hurry to get rich will not escape punishment. You cannot be more in love with popularity then you are God. You cannot be in love with money more than you are God. You cannot be in love with a, with a platform more than you love God. And people are chasing money. They're chasing these fantasies. They're chasing these, uh, popular, the, these, um, Chasing things that will get their name out and, and known uh, among everybody. And I just want people to know me. I want people to know who I am. I want to leave a legacy. There's nothing wrong with leaving a legacy. But if you don't leave Jesus for the next generation, they will not know. The most important legacy is Jesus. Telling your children about Jesus. Hallelujah. Telling your grandchildren about Jesus. Telling the next generation about Jesus. We need Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We don't need another title. We don't need another foolish fantasy. Oh, glory to God. We don't need any more delusions. We just need Jesus. That's it. Hallelujah. 
Glory to God. When you leave, your, take your last breath on this earth, you want to know that you left Jesus for your children. Oh, come on, someone. You want to know that you left Jesus for those that are coming behind you. Hallelujah. You want to know that you lived like Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God said, be prepared. Stop chasing fantasies. Stop getting too comfortable down here. This is not your home. Glory to God. This is not our home. Our home is with God. We have a home that is prepared for us. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I have a home that is prepared for me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I have a place just for me. Jesus has gone ahead of us. Glory to God. He, had, he said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. And where I go, you will be also. I don't know about you, but I want to be with Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When he calls my name, I want to be with my Savior. Hallelujah. I want to know that I left Jesus with my children. That they would keep that legacy going. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Says the faithful man will prosper with blessings, but whoever is in a hurry to get rich will not escape punishment. Why? Because their goal is not Jesus. It's all about money. Glory to God. And God is not in that. The love of money is the root of all evil. Proverbs 22 and 3. The prudent sees danger and hides himself. But the simple go on and suffer for it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Proverbs 6 and 6 through 8. Take a lesson from the ants, you lazy bones. Learn from their ways and become wise. Though they have no prince or governor or ruler to make them work. They labor hard all summer, gathering food for the winter. My goodness. Be prepared. I said be prepared. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Be prepared. If there's anything in your life that is hindering you from being closer to Jesus, now is the time to repent. And to turn from your ways. Now is the time to lay down every sin. Every form of wickedness. Anything that separates you from God. Sin separates us from God. That's why we need a savior. Because his blood covers us. Makes us right in the presence of God. That is why we're able to come to the presence of God. We no longer need a priest. We no longer need somebody to speak for us on our behalf. Jesus is the mediator. He speaks for us. But now that veil is torn down. So now we can actually come before him. Because of the blood of Jesus. We can come into the presence of God. Because now that blood makes us right. Glory to God. Before people could not just go to God. They had to have a priest. A holy person. Glory to God to speak for them. Hallelujah. We have so much to be thankful for. Everything the Lord has done is because of you. Because he had you in mind. Because he loves you. So if you're watching me. Maybe tonight or whatever time it may be. And you know that you are a sinner. And you need somebody to save you. You need a savior. And you're tired of living in sin. You're tired of being depressed. Tired of being sad. Tired of being, oh my goodness, angry. Now is the time to open up your heart and say, Lord, come into my heart. I want to be saved. I want to be changed. I believe that you are the son of God. And that God raised you from the dead. That you're coming back again for a church that is ready without a spot or wrinkle 
I believe this, Lord, and I want to be those the one I want to be one of the millions that goes up with you. Glory to God. If that's you, lift your hands and say, God, I want to be saved. I believe your word. I believe everything you said in your word. And I want to be saved. I want to be a part of your body. If you say that with all of your heart, according to the word of God, Romans 10 and 9, you are saved. And the Holy Spirit has now come to fill you. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are now saved. Hallelujah. And the Spirit of God lives in you now. Glory to God. Go forth. Walk in the anointing. Walk in boldness. Seek God like never before. Seek his word. Glory to God. Be hungry for him. He said, those who, who look for me or search for, for me will find me. Glory to God. If they look for me with all their heart. Jeremiah. I can't think of the chapter right now. <laughs> Glory to God. But search for the Lord with all your heart and you will find him. You will find all the answers to everything you ever wanted to know. God is going to reveal things to you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to go ahead and get off. Hallelujah. I pray that the sweet, sweet presence of the Lord will be with you as you go about your day. As you go about this week, I pray that the Lord will be with you. That you will begin to have dreams and visions. Glory to God. I pray that the Lord will speak to you. That you'll be able to hear him clearly. I pray that as you read the Bible. That the words will jump off the pages to you. Glory to God. That you will read with understanding. Hallelujah. I pray that the Holy Spirit will teach you all things. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I pray that you would want to be holy. Glory to God. That you will be drawn to holiness. Hallelujah. That the very presence of evil and wickedness will cause you to uh to to will cause you to want to get away glory to god that you will no longer be comfortable living in sin that you will no longer be comfortable with wickedness glory to god hallelujah but in but i pray that the very sign of sin and wickedness will turn you away in the name of Jesus, that you will have a sensitivity to anything that is not of God. In the name of Jesus, all oh, glory to God. And I pray that you will find a good church. Glory to God. That believes in the supernatural, believes in God's word. Hallelujah. Believes in teaching the truth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God bless you. I pray nothing but blessings and favor upon you all. Have a wonderful week. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And spend time with Jesus. Spend time with him. Glory to God. He longs to, to be with you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. In Jesus name.